So if I'm a Marine or a Navy Beachmaster that I am on the shore um, in a contested area, I need to get information to vessel operators coming on shore. A lot of times I have to, you have to rely on your intuition or some crude technology, such as a tennis ball, um, measuring things with your feet. Um, and they have to somehow characterize the surf zone this way. So uh, they call them surf observation reports. And a lot of times when they measure th things that are dangerous to incoming vessels or personnel, such as uh, currents or uh, wave heights, they use optical signatures, meaning just what they can see with their eyes. So they judge wave heights with their thumb. Um, they throw an object or a tennis ball into the ocean, time it, pace off how far it is. That's how fast the current is. And that's the information they transmit and what uh, vessel operators have to go off of. Um, so while their intuition is really good, um, we're trying to enhance that. So one component that we have that's developed by uh, ERDIC, which is the U.S. Army of Engineer Research and Development Center, it's called LIS, or Littoral Imaging System. The idea is that you take this small drone, whether from an oncoming vessel or if you're already on on the beach, take it up, do a five to 10 minute flight, it lands. You can pop uh, the SD card into a tablet or into uh, a field laptop. And in five minutes, you get maps of your surf zone, you get bathymetry or depths, um, identification of wave hazards. Um, and all of this is actually put into real world measurements. So instead of saying, I see a rock 20 pixels away from us, you can actually say it's gonna be 20 meters to your right, or it's going to be at this Latin long um, that can be easily transmitted to a, a vessel operator or command. Um, so right here is just an example screen of one of our products. So this is the depth map or the bathymetry. Um, we also try to provide a lot of different uh, visualizations that will be more useful for the warfighter. So this one is actually in geographical coordinates. They can annotate the image to see where there could be potential boat lanes, potential hazards. This can be made into a geotiff that can be thrown into um, larger uh, geographical mapping systems. We also have visualizations for the, the vessel operator as well as um, people on the beach to help with just in, in the heat of the moment, left and rights can become very confusing. Um, and we also take uh, visualizations from the drone itself um, and you can add points and just by visually identifying something then you are given a report that gives the Latin long of those coordinates so you're actually just mapping with your eye. Um, this particular system um, it's just software so it's made to be designed with any program a record drone that has an RGB or IR camera. We'll have um, the drone, uh, input from the drone. We'll have input from the littoral lens sensor. We are also going to have input from um, a uh, forecast models. And so all of that information is gonna come into one place on a tablet. And then that will be um, presented in a very clear and concise way to the Marines uh, or the BMUs um, that they know uh, which, which has the highest degree of accuracy um, and which uh, they can easily pinpoint what information they want quickly. Um, we also are importantly still allowing and providing means for them to enter their own traditional values too, just so that they do have that gut check value where they can say, typically I would think this is a three foot wave. I, I, I'm, I'm sure this is, and they can use their intuition as well. That's still important.